What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, and I will be doing a reading for the Aquarius. This, uh, this is a tarot reading for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. Aquarius, it is uh, wrapping up, wrapping up. This is the energy for the month, for the next month at least. Um, the energy is about closure. It's about getting the closure that you need. Um, it's about manifesting, finally seeing the products of things that you may have been trying to manifest as well. So it's going to be an interesting month. Uh, some of the previous signs, there has been a lot of relationship issues. So you may see a little rockiness if things are shaky in those areas. Or you might meet someone new. Not quite the, the month to do something about it. It's just, you know, it's just it's kind of see, okay, what's something's going on. <laughs> You want to wait at least another month before you might try something new, unless it's your personal month. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's get to the reading for Aquarius. All right, so this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Remember, guys, this is a general reading about the energy for that's approaching Aquarius or what Aquarius might be going through. Uh, it may resonate with some of you. If it doesn't, it's okay. Check your rising sign, because rising signs, I think, are a little bit more specific and closer to uh, your own personal energy, okay? Um, but also hit that like button if it does. Let me know and hit me and give, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Uh, helps me kind of even see uh, <laughs> was it on point? Was the reading right for you? Um, angel, spirit, guides, ancestors, creator of all, mother, father, please give me insight into Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising for the next month, okay? All right. Sun, moon, and rising. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have the Temperance card. There may be a feeling of impatience. Also, there may be someone in your life that needs healing, not you, but also the Temperance reverse. This is not taking the time. So be careful about that energy. It is crossed by the Two of Pentacles. Uh, a sidestep, juggling things and maybe dropping the ball. A lot of reversal energy in here. Um, the temperance talks about impatience and the two of pentacles. So there's definitely an imbalance going on here. It may be that something dropped the ball or you dropped the ball or someone dropped the ball on you. <laughs> maybe someone that you're dealing with needed some healing or someone that you're dealing with needed some uh, patience. But this also is, could be uh, impatience, period. It could be just like someone was impatient and there was like, I'm not juggling this anymore, okay? In the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Things in the past were moving backwards. So you've already been through this energy. Something was stuck. Something wasn't moving forward, okay? This is also was that maybe recently um, there was just just bad luck because wheel of fortune is about luck so maybe some bad things just happened you were like what is going on things that you couldn't control you know what i'm saying and because of that things got tripped up you know and you may be in a point where you need some time you need some healing or someone else does what's coming toward you in the future the six of swords yeah this is an energy of there was a lot of stuff that happened and what's happening now or what's coming is this card is saying, Aquarius, you need to take some time for yourself and get some mental balance. So it may be you who got out of balance. It may be you who got tripped up because of a bunch of stuff. And I don't know what it is. This is so general right now. This could be anything. But something tripped you up a little bit. Okay? And got you out of balance. And so what's coming to you, it's almost like Aquarius. You're just taking some time out to get your mental balance back. You know, because it's just like, well, it's just too much. Too much things going on. Too many bad calamities all at once. What's crowning it is the Prince of Swords. This could be a person or it could be your energy, air, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, um, <laughs> Gemini. Um, this is running away from a situation or not communicating. You could be in a point where you don't want to communicate anymore. You don't want to talk to a certain particular individual. Um... Because it just wasn't benefiting you. So you stopped. You communicated. You you cut it off. You stopped talking quickly. Hey, stop it. <laughs> What's at the root of it? 
the two of cups so definitely what these cards are telling me is that this was a was a love relationship you know two of cups may not have been that deep or it could have just been uh anybody really but two of cups is talks talks about two people who have feelings for each other and you may have cut it off because he was just kind of putting you out of balance and now you're kind of taking this moment to get your balance back the ace of pinnacles this is you in the situation you feel like you lost something you lost an opportunity you lost maybe the stability because pinnacles is about stability you lost maybe some money the energy around you or the other person the lovers this is somebody that you really cared about yeah the two of cups and the lovers this is somebody that you truly truly cared about and you just needed some time away okay all right what's the hope or fear queen of swords you're hoping that you can start this communication back. You're hoping that, you know, the person will listen to you. Look at there. The lovers is in the background. It's more of an analytical energy, but you would like to get that communication back. Look at there. It's in the background. It's in the back of your mind. It's not the forefront of your mind. But deep down, you're hoping to start some communication back with this person, even though maybe they stepped away or maybe you stepped away. Because there was some imbalance going on. There was just maybe like some confusion it was like, what is going on between these two? But all these lovers in the two of cups are still upright. And what's the outcome if things go? I do believe that if you try, there's going to be a sense of uh, defending oneself. This the seven of wands is a very defensive energy. This month may not be the time to do these conversations. Even if you tried, even if the person tried to talk to you, there's going to be still this little conflict of, no, I, I'm not really listening. I'm just defending my ground. You know what I'm saying? So may not be a good month. If you are taking a break, Aquarius, or if someone is taking a break from you, this is not a good month to try to do a reconciliation. I would say, hey, just take that pause. Take that pause. I don't see any bad cards right now. Yeah, Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or, or um, Sagittarius. But right now, this is a person who's just really focused on themselves. They're not even thinking about doing anything else. They're just kind of, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do myself, you know, whatever. They have a very attractive energy, but also the Queen of Wands could also be someone who's just focused on sex. The Four of Cups talks about this energy of emotional distance. Um, someone needs to time out. And I'm kind of sensing that with all this energy here. There's still love here, though. There's still love. The Emperor card reverse is um, a control freak energy. You could be dealing with someone who is trying to control too much. Or also the underlying energy that you may not realize is that maybe... Uh, I don't know if it's your energy or theirs. It could be theirs. But the, the, you might be dealing with someone who's trying to uh, just make everything happen regardless how you feel. But I think they're just as emotionally distant as you are. Or if it's not your energy, then it's them that are saying, okay, I'm just going to do me. And this, if, if, it's, if you're dealing with someone who's just like, I need a time away, uh, I would just let them do it. They're kind of being, they're going to be kind of defensive if you try to um, force it any other way. But someone ran off, okay? So I'm not sure who at this point. I don't know if it's you who needs time away. Or if the other person needs time away, but someone is being a little bit like defensive and doesn't want to communicate, and, but there's still love there. I kind of sense it may be your energy that's kind of like, okay, I'm going to step away because you got the Ace of Pentacles reverse and they got the lover's card. Okay. Uh, and this could be about someone who just, I think your energy is that, you know, you don't have anything to give right now. I think you've given all you can. And you've, you've kind of, your battery is low. <laughs> That's how I can say it. I know Aquarius, you guys are notorious for giving. And when your battery is low, you're like, I can't give anymore. So if you need to take a break, you just, just take a break. But let's see what's going on. Clarify the, um, let's clarify your energy with the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Uh, the high priestess reverse. So there's something that maybe you learned of a secret or maybe you are not trusting yourself. Maybe you're not trusting your intuition. This also is things that have been revealed to you 
for some of you, things have been revealed to you and you're just kind of like, okay, I don't understand any of this right now. Uh, for some of you, it's just that you're not trusting yourself. You're not trusting your inner spirituality. You've gotten so into uh, whatever was going on that you forgot about yourself, that inner spirit, okay? And you need to kind of take time to get into, get back into your spiritual life, you know? Clarify that um, Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. What's coming toward Aquarius? Clarify the Six of Swords. The Three of Cups. Yeah, you want to be happy again, okay? You're taking a break away from all this this action. You're taking a, a mental break away from all this. You know, things are things are good, but it might be just too much for you right now. You're just like, okay, you want to be happy. You want to you want uh, a reason to celebrate things, but right now it's just like, okay, I just need to get away from everything for a second. Okay, clarify the um, Temperance card. Why is the Temperance card here? There's a new chapter trying to start in your life, okay? But you do need to take some time to get the healing, okay? If you feel like, uh, you know, I don't need healing, yeah, you do. <laughs> if you take the time to uh, get some healing, to kind of go back into your inner self, there's a new chapter that's trying to start in your life. Of course, the, I told you that things are coming to closure, but you need, I think this is a time, great time to do a self audit to see what's going on with yourself. What is going on with that? Um, Prince of Swords up there. Clarify the Prince of Swords. Yeah, someone's not happy. So they ran away. Someone's not communicating and ran away from a situation. So it's either you or the other person. But uh, you could be dealing with the Leo. Um, but I think it could be your energy that you ran away because you just were not feeling happy in a situation. Things were not working out in your favor. Also, that world card kind of confirms that things were just not working out. You weren't happy. It may not be that person. It just may be a certain situation in that thing. Clarify these seven of wands. I didn't see this before. Nine of nine of wands. That kind of, the nine of cups. It kind of popped out of there, and I was like, "What?" Uh, being defensive because you're not getting what you want. Okay. Uh, the seven of wands is clarified by the nine of cups. Uh, being defensive about not getting what you want, not getting your wish fulfillment. So there could be something with dealing with a your lover that you're like, okay, I want this, and they were not, they were failing to give you that. So you may have stepped out. Maybe maybe you wanted something deeper. Maybe you wanted marriage. Maybe you wanted, um, I don't know. It could be different for everybody, but something caused a rift in the relationship. But I don't see that. It's permanent. Clarify the lovers. Oh, maybe it's your person that needs the healing. Okay. All right. Okay. The lovers got the temperance card reversed. So you may you may be dealing with someone, some of you. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with someone, could be dealing with Sagittarius because this is Sagittarius. But the lovers uh, clarified by the temperance card. So you may be dealing with someone who's out of balance. And maybe you stepped away from them. Maybe it's the other person. Could, like I said, it can go either way. Uh, you could be dealing with someone who needs healing. And they're not getting the healing that they are. The, you may be dealing with someone who's out of balance. And so it's gotten you a lot, a lot of loss in your life. You maybe you're not trusting your intuition on what you need to do with this person because things either you're giving too much and not getting anything in return and things have just kind of and you're not getting what you want out of the relationship and it's caused a lot of dissent and causing one person to be very defensive about things uh, about not getting what they want clarify the two of cups Like I said, I feel like it's just a temporary thing. I wouldn't tr try too hard in this month. But if you need a personal reading, I can kind of look more into it. Two of Cups. Yeah, trying to decide. Trying to make a decision. Uh, two of Cups and the Two of Swords. Trying to make a decision. And it could be a decision on whether you want to stay or where you want to go. 
I don't think this is a great time to make that decision in a nine month because it could end up dropping the relationship. But if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Uh, but both of y'all are being emotionally distant. Both of y'all are being, not wanting to communicate right now. Let's get a moon card oracle for you and wrap this up. It's time to release negativity. What are we talking about? That's a Scorpio moon. There's a lot of drama that's going on between two individuals. And you gotta, I, the only way you can do that is you can either, this is like self work, you know? Release the negativity between two people. I'm sending you guys good vibes, man. For real. Release the negativity. Yeah. Does that mean breaking up? I don't know, but I don't see that in the cards. I just see that maybe it's a self kind of thing. Like you need to release it within yourself. And that person too needs to do it too. What's the oracle for you guys? Okay, 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 I got you. The saint. This talks about using wisdom. This also talks about taking the higher road. This talks about um, getting help. Okay, the saint is the mediator. Uh, so you may need to get some spiritual guidance from someone else to get a friend or to be a mediator between two people. That's also that three of cups too. Um, to kind of help, help out. This is also kind of getting therapy. If you guys are married, you probably need some therapy or some or something. But someone needs to be a third party of helping kind of talk about a situation. If you're trying to talk, I wouldn't be trying to do this by yourself. Let's do animal oracles. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This one. Yeah, take it slow, turtle. This is not something you want to rush into. This is about taking your time this month. Uh, if you're dealing with this person, if you truly do care about this person and you want to work it out, take your time. There's no rush. They'll be there. They're not going anywhere. But you are dealing with someone who uh, who needs healing. I think that's pretty pretty sure about that. Do not rush into it. The connection, their love is there. It could be that the person's trying to decide whether they want to talk to you. Maybe you're trying to figure out whether you want to talk to them. Whether this is an established relationship or this is somebody that you're trying to be with. For some of you, this might be somebody you're trying to be with. And they just haven't... <laughs> they've been giving you the cold shoulder. If you're single and you're like, what's the deal? I think they like you, but it's just they got to deal with some things right now. And that could be the case for some of you. Like, this is not even the relationship. It's like, this is like someone that's a potential, you know? But there, you might need to kind of give some patience and time. This is a this is going to be a learning experience. Angel card. Clairvoyance. This, yeah, you're going to have to use your intuition on this one. Okay. Um, helping you. Reach your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Yeah, This could be a very strong spiritual connection with you, Aquarius, and another individual. But you need to trust your intuition, okay? I don't think you're trusting your intuition right now. You're just kind of seeing things as they are. But like I said, there's still the two of cups there. And someone's trying to make a decision. You're dealing with someone who has a very strong lover energy. The lover's card. But they need healing. And as of this month, yeah, they're going to, they're kind of defensive or you're being defensive because someone didn't get what they wanted. Okay. So don't force it. Take your time. Take the high road, the saint. <laughs> this is a very, and just, just take your time. Take your time. You know, uh, if you need a personal reading, I'm here for you. So make your reality happen. Cause if you don't do it, then who will?